In this video, we will consider how we can convert a number to scientific notation if it's close to scientific, but not quite exactly in scientific notation. When we're close in scientific notation, we will put the number that's not in scientific notation in scientific notation. When we do, we will often have several tens at the end of the expression. We will then use our exponent properties on the tens, usually by adding the exponents. So, for example, if I have this expression, notice the decimal is in the wrong place. The decimal should be after the 5. So, focusing just on the number, that number should be 5.236 times 10. Because 523 was a big number, we'll use a positive exponent, positive 2. We still have times 10 to the negative 8th at the end of the expression. It hasn't changed, so it's still there. We will now use our exponent properties to combine the tens together. Our exponent properties say that if we have a to the m times a to the n, we simply add the exponents together. We will add the exponents together on the tens to get 5.236 times 10 to the 2 and negative 8 gives us negative 6 for our correct answer in scientific notation. Notice, we did not multiply 10 times 10 to get 100. Our exponent properties, which comes before multiplication in order of operations, says that we simply add the exponents and keep the base exactly the same. This is what we have done with the tens. Order of operations says to do the exponents first without considering the multiplying and keeping the base. Let's try one more example, where we're close to scientific, but not quite there. In this problem, we have a s number that's too small to be in scientific notation. This means it will have a negative exponent when we convert it, moving the decimal to the correct place after the 3. 3.2 times 10, we use a negative exponent because the number was too small, and move the decimal 1, 2, 3 places. This gives us 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3rd. The times 10 to the 5th at the end is still on there. We haven't touched it yet. We can combine our tens together by using that exponent property where we add the exponents. This will give us 3.2 times 10 to the negative 3 plus 5, or 2nd power. Our answer is now truly in scientific notation. If the answer is close to scientific notation, we will focus on the number, convert it to scientific notation, and then use our exponent properties on the tens.